Do you want to go to a coin show? Well, you should go to a coin show if you're a coin collector. If you go to a coin show, you will literally see more coins than you've ever seen in your life. Especially if you go to the Sharonville show in the greater Cincinnati area of Ohio. We have 125 tables and there can be up to two dealers a table. Some dealers have, you know, two and three tables. Customers everywhere and a bunch of YouTube channels. I will be there. Coin Help You will be at the Sharonville show. Coin Op will be at the Coin Show. There's other times that other channels are there. Not to forget to mention everybody, but there will be a bunch of channels there. Last year, we had anywhere from 30 to 40 different YouTube channels show up at the Coin Show to do a meet and greet. And we traded and bought coins. This is a very large show for Ohio. Probably the largest show in Ohio, and one of the largest, let's put it that way. It's in a, a large room, plenty of, of tables, plenty of coins. And like I said, you will see things and be able to buy things that you've never seen before if you've never been to a coin show. You might have seen it online, but you've never seen it in person. And here's a little bit of the information on that. So here's the flyer for the show. If you are a dealer, there might still be some tables. I don't know. It's getting pretty close. So you can actually contact um, the down here at the bottom. It shows you. It's David Heinrich. And maybe we'll zoom in a little bit so you can take a look at the flyer a little bit closer. Right here. It's the contact David Heinrich at CincyCoins at gmail.com. Okay, so this is the deal. If you want to go to the coin show, some people like to do the early bird on a Thursday. If you want to do the early bird and get in there a little bit earlier, you can mention coin op. And I think you can even mention my channel coin help you and you will get uh, $5 off. You get a little discount. Okay. Some people like to get in there early. Might be able to take advantage of a coin deal or some coins that it's there, you know, might sell before you get there. There's a lot of people who are hustling, bustling uh, Thursday, trying to buy off each other and trying to get the best deals because that way they've got Friday and Saturday that can sell the coins that they buy from other dealers. So there's a lot of that going on. So it's kind of interesting to do the early bird. Now me, on the other hand, being a dealer and having a dealer badge, I'll be there. Obviously there'll be a lot of dealers trying to buy from me and I'll be looking around. I try not to stay at my table. I set it up, then I cover it up and I want to go around and walk and shop. The only chance I get because once the show starts, a lot of times I'll have three people at my table. But anyways, this is the date. It's Friday, July 30th. And Saturday, July 31st at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And like I said, Friday and Saturday for just regular days. The Sharonville Convention Center is a really nice place to stay. Now, I go somewhere else and eat usually, but they do have a very nice place. And they have a nice breakfast in the mornings. And I, that's where I'm staying. I'll, I'll be there for Thursday night and Friday night. So you need to come out to the Sharonville show. you got to come out. I mean, if you can drive, get on a bus, get on a plane, fly to Sharonville, get you a ticket, uh, you know, fly into the Cincinnati airport and, and stay a couple days if you can do it. Maybe even just make a road trip out of it. Come down and meet me, meet coin off, meet some of the other channels, uh, see a bunch of coins. I mean, look, like I said, I have a lot of fun at these shows. I love these couple day shows. Uh, I go to this one in the Ohio state show. So definitely. Now, if, Sharonville's a little too much for you. I do have the Milton show coming up. It's Saturday, the 17th of this month, 10 to 3. So that's in West Virginia. So it's very close to Huntington, very close to the Huntington Mall. You go to the Milton exit. Just come on out to the Milton Coin Show if you can't make it to the Sharonville show. Those are the two shows I look forward to every year. And I'm looking forward to this month. I've, I've prepared everything I'm preparing. I'm preparing for the show. I might even bring some fakes and some damaged coins I have just to display and to show. I'm, I'm trying to work on that. It's been a little busy here, but I'm trying to work on getting some of that together. So make a learning experience out of it. You know, like I said, if, if you always wonder, you know, what you're supposed to do at a coin show, how you're supposed to act and, and all that, just be yourself. Be yourself. Don't try to, don't go in with, with a judgment that all dealers are crooks. Don't go in with a judgment that they're going to try to do this or do that. Go in with an open mind. Go in with just a smile on your face and go up to each dealer. You can introduce yourself if you want to, or you can just look at their coins and say, hi, thank you. And how's business, you know, break the ice, be confident. You know, people will respect you for that. 
you start acting shady or acting like you got a chip on your shoulder and you walk around, that's one of the things that dealers and, and just people in general pick up on. You know, the thing of it is just be a person, just be yourself, just be normal and everything will be great. You'll have a great show if you go in there and you do that. If you go in there and you've got some coins that you want to praise and, you know, I would recommend not trying to test dealers. Okay. I know some people think they're slick and they're smart and they're cunning and they want to go in there and they want to act like they don't know nothing and play stupid. You know, that's okay. But dealers can pick up on that too. They know when someone's really wanting to sell to them or not. And you try to put some slick move in on them. Uh, some of the things like that, that's not really what we need at the coin shows. We want positivity at the coin shows. We want people who are interested in actually buying and actually selling. And that way we can have a good environment. And you don't want to bring out the worst in people by doing certain things. So I know a lot of people ask me, and I don't, I don't tell people how to behave as a, you're an adult. I get that. That's not what I'm trying to do here. But when people want to know how to behave at a coin show, just be yourself. I mean, it's just be yourself with a smile on your face. And that's really the best thing to do. One of the things to realize too, is that dealers are there to make money. That's the first reason why they would go to a coin show. I know that if I go to Sharonville show, I'm probably going to spend about five, six hundred dollars total for that weekend. So I at least need to make that the break even. And that's the profit part. So I've got to make, you know, if I'm only making 30 percent, you can figure how much I have to sell to make that just to break even. So that's the first thing. Secondary would be a little bit of socializing and, and a little bit of maybe helping someone with their coins. Other than that, you know, I can't spend a whole lot of time doing that because I have to move the customers, you know, keep moving along. Uh, people um, sometimes we we'll like to sit down and talk a little bit and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, give them five minutes or so, 10 minutes of time. And that's about all a lot of dealers can afford to give. Some dealers don't even want you sitting there at their table. They don't want to socialize the whole time. It's just not into that. That's not what they're doing. So you got to be respectful. You got to kind of get a feel for things. If you're seeing three and four people and people constantly coming to the table, ask them about this coin and that coin, and you're just sitting there, you know, it might be a good idea not to do that. Um, that's one of the other things to think about. You know, maybe wait until there's a law in the business or wait till the dealer's out. You know, like I said, I try to make myself available to talk outside of my table and away from my table um, a lot of times because I like to get out and about myself, you know, and plus being on the YouTube and all, I try to talk to the YouTubes. I try to have someone watch my table. Sometimes I have someone there and I, I have, we have a meet and greet room. Hopefully we'll have that room this year. We'll be able to do it that way. But yeah, you always got to be respectful and mindful. Um, you know, try to think of the dealer as well. Try to think of their film. A lot of dealers don't expect you to know everything about coins. They don't expect, you know, they'll help you out. If a dealer won't help you out, go to the next table. There are some dealers that aren't that friendly. I mean, they're just people. Some people aren't friendly and some people are. Some people are helpful and some people are not helpful. Some people are great teachers and some people are not great teachers. So it doesn't really matter. And Sharonville and all the coin shows are not any different. Any of them that you go to. So, Please come out to the Sharonville Coin Show if you get a chance. And if you just like a smaller venue, a smaller coin show, come out to the Milton Show on the 17th of this month. Like I said, I, I showed the flyer here. I'll show it one more time. Give you guys a chance. Maybe you can do a screenshot or whatever and save it to your phone. Or you can go over to Google Maps and you can look up the directions and it'll help you get there. Anyways, that's the information on the show. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you at the Coin Show and have a great day.